What's up, everyone? Justin here, back with a WWE pay-per-view predictions video for WWE Hell in the Cell 2020. Let's get the predictions started. There probably will be more matches added after SmackDown, but I'm not waiting till after SmackDown. I wanted to uh, do these predictions before, after SmackDown. So, uh, by the way, I early voted today. Everybody out there, vote. And don't don't be a, a fucking dumbass. Don't be a dumbass. Vote for Joe Biden to fucking save this country. So, uh... And if you are a Trump supporter and you're watching this, well, I think you're a dumbass. And you are. And you're in a cult. So here we go. Uh, Hell in a Cell predictions. So, uh, four match, five, yeah, four matches only booked as of Thursday night. Whatever. Could be more booked. I don't know. Probably will be one or two, maybe booked one or two more. So, they're probably my final predictions for matches will be probably five or six. Up first, let's predict uh, three Hell in a Cell matches. I don't know if they're going to do two, maybe two of them back to back. That would not be a good idea. But maybe it would be because there's no fucking crowd, so who cares? The crowd can't get burned out because there is no crowd there. Except for the Thunderdome fans, and they're stuck watching. I don't believe they can leave the Thunderdome once you get in. Uh, by the way, I've been asked many times to be in the Thunderdome. I'm not going to bother registering. I've declined. I don't want to be in the Thunderdome. It's not that I dislike WWE and think they suck. I don't. It's uh, that... It's that... I, I don't need to be on TV in the Thunderdome. I'm on TV on YouTube. I'm on camera on YouTube. So up first, let's predict the uh, WWE Championship. Probably could be the main event. I don't think it will be, but Drew McIntyre defends the WWE Championship against Randy Orton inside the Hell in the Cell. It's going to be very good. Both of these guys are fucking great. I'm going to say Drew McIntyre wins and retains up next. Let's go with another Hell in a Cell for the women's title, SmackDown women's title. Sadly, I don't think my favorite, Asuka. I don't think Asuka will have a match or defend the title. Maybe she will, but that'd be kind of weird. But they'll probably have the women's tag titles. Just they'll probably just throw it on the show, on the paper, on the pay per view. They'll throw a women's tag title match. I bet on the pay per view, it's like a bonus, and they're not gonna tell anybody. They'll just do it the night of the show. So I like Siaska, but I don't think we're going to. If you didn't know, you should. Asuka is my favorite wrestler. So up next. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, another Hell in a Cell. Let's predict. You got three of them. For the SmackDown Women's title, Bailey defends against Sasha Banks. I apologize for that noise. I fucked up, and I didn't turn off the notifications, but I'll be done soon. 
So Bailey over a year is SmackDown Women's Champion. That is historic. That's awesome. That's great. Bailey deserves it. I love Bailey. She's great. I really, really like Sasha, but not as much as Bailey. Twenty twenty has been great for Bailey. Great fucking year. Great twenty twenty. Bailey has had. The country has been fucked. I'm talking about the United States where I live. The country's been fucked in 2020. About a thousand times over, we've been fucked. Without a condom. By the Trump administration. And the fucking just god-awful no-leadership government in Washington. Just god-awful under Trump. That's my opinion. We've been fucked many, many times in 2020. Just really, really fucked without a condom. And uh, Trump and his administration uh, came inside of us about 50,000 times without a condom. They fucked us so much, raw dog style, and it's not good. That's why you got to get rid of his ass so he stops fucking us. And I did my part. I voted early. I voted for Joe Biden. That guy's a good man. He's a thousand million times better than Trump. The soda can is better than Trump. So just about anything would be better at Trump. Better than the Trump as president. In this this wrestling Ric Flair card would be better than Trump as a president. So, uh, Bailey, Sasha. I love Bailey. I like Sasha. Everybody is going to predict and expect Sasha to win the title and get it off of Bailey. And I'm going to have to agree. I would love it if Bailey retains. I will mark out. I'll be happy. But I doubt she will. So my prediction, Sasha Banks to win the SmackDown women's title. And uh, she'll hold on to it for I don't know how long. She should drop it to Bianca Belair. Or Bailey, if Bailey retains, she should drop it to Bianca Belair. By the way... On Saturday, I think it's Saturday, on the WWE Network, uh, Bailey as a WWE Chronicle. Check that out because Bailey's awesome. So, Sasha wins and new SmackDown Women's Champion. I'm next, Jeff Hardy, Elias. One of the only matches that is not inside the cell. Elias had a great Great live performance, I thought, on Monday's Raw. Amen. His song, Amen, or whatever the hell the song was called. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. So, Jeff Hardy Elias. I'm going to say Jeff Hardy wins. I guess Elias is a heel again. So, now the final Hell in a Cell match. I quit. Cousin versus Cousin. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, defends a universal title against Jey Uso. Roman with Paul Heyman. Maybe uh, Jimmy Uso outside the cage will accompany Jey to ringside. I don't know. Maybe Jimmy will turn on Jey after the match and join Roman I don't know Roman is a family's a tribal chief so Jey Uso you better bow down you better just say I quit or else you're gonna get destroyed and killed my prediction Roman reigns wins and retains and still universal champion Roman Reigns after the Hell in the Cell match. I'm just uh, fantasy booking here. Let's say the cell goes up 
and then out comes Goldberg, and his music hits, and maybe Goldberg spears Roman. I could see that happening. Goldberg's under contract for like one or two more years, or he's, he's supposed to work like four matches a year, I guess. So I could see it Survivor Series if they don't do Raw Champions versus SmackDown Champions. If they don't do that, I could see Goldberg take on Roman for the Universal title. We were uh, supposed to get that at WrestleMania. And, uh, but Roman had to be safe, had to protect himself and his family because of the pandemic. So he did not work WrestleMania. By the way, protect yourself, protect others, wear a fucking mask when you go outside your house. And t not just on the streets, but to the stores too. Wear a fucking mask. You either wear a mask, and you take a mask and wear it, and you take life, or you don't wear it, and you take death. That's, that's your options. You, do you want to live? Wear a fucking mask. Do you want your loved ones to live? Wear a fucking mask. Or fucking take death. I don't care, but wear a fucking mask. If you're that stupid to not wear a mask, you deserve to die. And get the, pan get the uh, not the pandemic, get the virus. Again, vote early. Vote for Joe Biden and wear a fucking mask. And I hope you enjoyed my Hell in a Cell 2020 predictions. Again, this Saturday, check out Bailey's uh, WWE Chronicle. That should be really good. Uh, bye for now, everybody.